<clears throat> had a conversation with someone yesterday. Um, first, I can't I can't leave comments. The past few videos, you know, I'll have to pick a day and try to get my have a good connection or whatever. I think it's my computer because what happens is I get to the uh, I'll leave a comment or two, get to the third one, and the reply button disappears. So if you have a whole bunch of comments, you get nothing then. Makes me nuts. But yeah, I'll get to the comments. I don't I, I don't want you to think I've forgotten. Um, but I had a conversation with someone. I'll give you a scenario. Otherwise, I get it takes me too long to explain it. This is just a speculative uh, hypothetical. Hillary's the candidate and Trump's the candidate. Okay campaign they have the election Trump loses to Hillary all right <clears throat> and looking back everyone realizes it's because there's there's only so many votes on the left and so many votes on the right okay Trump's gonna need all those votes on the right but everyone looks back and realizes because the party didn't support him soon enough or they were divisive or for whatever reason the party support didn't help him shore up all those votes on the right side that he needed to beat Hillary. Okay, and it's it's apparent. It's not it's not some you know conspiracy theory. People realize there's too many people holding back. We're not going to support him. Yada yada. It was his own party. So <clears throat> a mass of people of voters on the right side leave the Republican Party. Or no longer actually the Republican Republican Party left us, but they, they no longer support the Republican Party. Doesn't mean that they go vote Democrat. Okay, it just means that they're no they're now disenfranchised from their the party. <clears throat> now, which I, I I bailed out at McCain. That was that was it for me. But so you now have let's see, remember there's only let's see there's only a hundred votes on the left and a hundred votes on the right. They can't afford, the, the, the right cannot afford to be splintered or divided because it takes all those votes to beat the opponent, okay, in my thinking. Um, and more and more people, if you look like the stuff we talk about, more and more people are for a larger government. They want the handout. They want the government to fix it and make things right. You know, they like that... that um, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious. More and more people are thinking that way. So there's going to be fewer and fewer people, I believe, on the right voting against it. As more and more others, the population is growing of those people that want a larger government. One hand over more power, more liberties, whether they know it or not. So in this hypothetical, they look back. It's because the Republican Party, the GOP, whatever you want to call it, did not support Trump helping him win. People leave the party, a large enough chunk leaves the party, okay? Now maybe some new messiah shows up or a, um, a, a third party, a tea party thing or the, you know, something like that comes, has a charismatic speaker, they got enough money behind them. They take and they grab this group that's left the Republicans and hold their interest, okay? Um, in that scenario... If you take the, and I'm talking about the right and the left, you take those votes on the right and you split it up in any such way, it'd be decades before we'll ever beat the Democrats at anything again. Because I think there's more people voting that way. We've got all these people walking into the country that are going to vote that way because they're voting. At least in California, they are. You've got a driver's license, you can vote. You don't have to ask if you're a citizen or not. But there's more things gearing people that are for big government, okay? So they're going to be voting. I think there's fewer of us. Um, but anyway, the, 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 the right side vote is divided in, in, a, in such a way that uh, and the, the, the left always seems to get their group together. And um, I think if that were the case, if enough people, if they screw this up and it's, they take the blame for it, enough people leave the party, I think we'd have a heck of a time ever um, getting a Republican back into the, someone from the right back in as president again for probably many, many cycles. Um, just my opinion. I could be wrong, but tell me what you think. Am I, am I far off on this? Because I see that the trend of people wanting bigger government, 
you know, which used to be the theme of the uh, Republican Party, you know, have smaller government. But if they if they split the Republican Party after this, it's gonna be it's gonna be not so much it's not gonna be so much oh gosh, doomsday for the uh, Republican Party. It's gonna be the end for the right, as far as having any power getting getting someone in the office. On the right side. Anyhow, I'm just throwing that out there. Do a VR of a temperature thing. That could be far off. Anyway, I had a, I was talking to someone that's a uh, one other thing. I was talking about this to someone that we're talking about voting for Trump. And uh, this person was a progressive. Now I've heard of progressive. I have. I know people that call itself progressive. I don't. I just always thought it was a Democrat, and um, or a liberal. And say, oh no no, I'm a progressive. Well, tell me what the, what the heck's a progressive? What's the difference? I thought it was like a liberal with a Prius or something, you know, new and improved. The um, um, but what's the difference between a Democrat and a and a progressive? I don't I don't get that. Help me out. Love you. God bless.